Hi everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint this pretty swan in soft pastel colors, um, slightly in silhouette, and I'm working on a 16 by 20 uh, stretched and primed canvas. I'm going to use my number 30 filbert brush <laughs> to start working on the background first and the water, and then we'll go down in sizes to smaller brushes um, for the smaller details. So I'm just going to get this brush a little bit wet first. And I'm going to show you the colors before we start. We've got titanium white, neon yellow warm, neon orange, neon pink, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and bright aqua green turquoise. Any other shades or colors similar to these will work just fine as well. You don't need to have the neons. If you don't have them, don't worry about it. Just use any warm yellow that you have. And if it's not quite warm and golden enough like this, just add a little bit of your orange to your yellow or even a little bit of pink with some titanium white, and you'll get something along the similar um, kind of uh, temperature as the warm yellow here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start by applying the horizon right here. This is where uh, most of that warmth is starting from. And I'm gonna go into my yellow warm to begin. And the horizon, is going to go just above halfway down the canvas. You never really want to cut your canvas, your landscapes um, and compositions right in half. It makes for a really kind of flat um, painting. It's one of the rules. I don't really like to follow rules, but this one really does make sense. So try to go just a little bit above halfway or a little bit below halfway. Uh, ultimately you want to have one or the other more sky or more land and that'll make your paintings a lot more interesting so I'm just pulling softly back and forth side to side with a little bit of that warm yellow and I'm gonna just add a tiny bit of water to my brush go ahead and pick up some more of that color and I'm gonna add some below in the water here this is the reflection down below right here and I'm going to keep going because there's some warmth right in here and some bright sunlight hitting those, those rings and soft little ripples by our swan. I'm going to take a little bit of white without washing my brush off. And I'm going to come right up here. Start pulling in a little bit more yellow with my white. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my neon orange, neon yellow, and a little bit of white. And I'm going to apply it right about here, the left side. And then a little bit down here. And now I'm going to go into white little bit of ultramarine blue and I'm going to start coming in from the top pulling off the edges and we're going to draw our eyes in here by creating these soft clouds and then I want to make some of them a little wiggly. So this is all you would have to do is just wiggle as you're dragging your brush. Take a little bit more white this time. Don't forget that this is going to dry a little bit darker than what it's initially going on right now or what it looks like right now. And a little bit more water there just to help loosen my bristles up in that paint a little bit. Mix up some more white and blue. And right about this area right here. So we've got a horizon here. I'll, add a, I'll use a smaller brush to add the horizon line. Just going to pull across and, and just 
I don't know if you guys, I hope you can see this through the camera or through your screen. How beautiful this light blue violet is pretty much what we're making here. How it looks with the orange. It's so gorgeous. I love this color combination. These two colors together are just so pretty. And I'm just going to come around down here and start adding a little bit of shadows, reflections. I'll mix up some more. So I'm going to turn my brush over like this. Kind of wiggle and slide like that. And I'm going to round this edge out here because this is where we start to get those rings. But I'm going to go down to a smaller brush, of course, for, for those. Now that's a bit too dark and I know it'll dry darker than that. So I'm just going to balance that out by taking some white and going over it. I'm going to use one of my flat brushes to add our horizon line in here. And this is a number 12. Again, just taking that blue and white. And our horizon line is going to be right under this yellow here. So just pull across. I'm going to go over with a little bit of white just to help balance that. wash it out and then very lightly just go over it again getting some clean lines in there okay and i'm going to switch brushes again i'm going to go over to more of a round ended brush so yeah, i think this filbert here number 16 i believe anything smaller or even a little bit bigger than this but i would recommend using this size or a bit smaller will do I'm going to take just a little bit of pink, mix that up with my white. So if you can hear that, I'm just kind of scumbling flat with my brush. I want to layer over part of this blue. So it dries to a pretty sort of a lavender color or light purple. And if it doesn't work, then just make, you can just make the color quickly by taking a little bit of your blue, pink and white. Isn't that pretty? I love painting in pastel tones. So I'm just gonna enhance the blue that's already there by adding a little bit of this color now over top and around. Now what I want to do is make some of the areas in the sky a little bit, I wouldn't say brown, but like a smoky kind of earthy beige color. So to do that, I'm going to mix up a little bit of that blue with the pink and my yellow and white. So it's kind of like a sort of a tan color and I'm just going to start going to start applying this over top and a little over top of the white and over the existing color. I'm going to make it a little bit cooler yet. It's a little bit too much. There we go. Sort of a smoky blue color. Well, that's pretty. I'm going to soften it though, just because I know that it's going to dry darker. And I'm just going to, turning my brush this way, I'm going to kind of wiggle just to create, and you can do this any way that you want. You just want to create some thin uh, clouds, just a little bit here and there. 
little rounded zigzags if you want. So I'm gonna go down right about here, take these clouds down a little bit lower. And I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, videos. So here you can see I'm just adding a little bit more and now I'm gonna cut inside like I do and like I did earlier with a bit of white and I'm just gonna soften. It gives it that really, really soft powdery look to it. Just inside, I don't wanna cover up all those other colors. It's just about enhancing and adding a little bit here and there. Okay, so now I need to make sure that I've got some of those colors reflecting in the water. So I'm gonna come down. Whoops, I need a bit of water on my brush. And I'm gonna go add a few lines, just back and forth, a little bit shorter and then longer right here. Pull across here. Any kind of um, bits of blue lines you can get in here. They don't have to be spaced out exactly like mine. That's pretty hard to do, I know. So don't, <laughs> don't stress yourself out about trying to match up. It's gonna make you really frustrated. I'm gonna take a little bit of white, load my brush up again here. And I'm gonna add a few little sun rays. So again, I'm gonna mix those colors up. I'm just gonna very lightly Just a few very gentle. You want your brush to be watered down a little bit, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too watery that when it dries, there's gonna be nothing there, right? So you can see we just have a little bit here. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more white this time. A little bit. Loosen the paint out of my brush by getting a bit of water. But then if there are any drips, I make sure that I dry them off on my towel. So I'm going to my white here, add a little bit of a little bit of white, a little bit of orange, a little bit of white, still using the same filbert brush. And I'm gonna add a little bit, I'm gonna layer over here. You see how we've got this orange right there? So we want to we want to reflect that. Go over here as well and just do a light little layer. There's going to be some areas down in here. I'll just start adding a little bit. This is all this is going to be adjusted, but just starting. This is just the beginning stages. I'm gonna add a little bit more depth to the clouds here. So orange, both blues. I'm gonna make this a bit darker. And this is gonna make my sun brighter as well. So if we have some darker contrast here in the sky and clouds, See how it changes it? This is a very kind of dirty, muddy, dusty rose color that I really like. It doesn't sound like a pretty color, but it just really accents all the other colors nicely. Add a little bit over here. Just soften the edges a bit. A little bit more yellow and white now. Right in this area here, it's gonna be really warm. So we've got that orange there already. Let's play up on that and go over top with some of this yellow. I'm gonna start adding some in here. A few other colors. So I'm gonna go into this smoky kind of a color that I made earlier, add a little bit of green or turquoise. There we go. 
and you can kind of swirl pull and swirl around with your brush have fun making those uh, ripples in the water take a little bit of white a little bit of the orange with a turquoise hint of the ultramarine blue a little bit of water and again I'm going to come right up and overlap on that blue area. I'm going to come right in here. And I'm going to take, I'm going to make a purple. So either one of these blues with a bit of pink and white. And I'm going to come in, look how pretty that is. I'm going to come in right here and create a little patch, just wiggling and squiggling. Oh, I need a little bit of white in there. I'm just going to start coming in with some gentle, very gentle low scoops like this. Wiggle in some patches down there. And I'm going to go into more phthalo this time. There's a little bit of white in there. I'm going to start adding a little bit more depth in the water. So flat ovals like this kind of, and then close together, and then back and forth. I'm going to use my number two round brush. And a and little bit of phthalo blue, a little bit of ultramarine blue, and make really dark color just by mixing those together. I'm just going to go right over top and twist and let off so that way it gets narrower. I need a bit of water. You can see how dry that is. So if I just loosen that up with a bit of water, just a tiny bit of water, and then lightly go over it and Whatever I do, I'm just going to go right through because then that's my reflection. So add like a few there and then a few in the water. They're far away, so they're really going to be kind of blurry and fuzzy and messy sort of looking. And I'm just going to kind of tap a little bit in here. Okay, then with this flat brush, I'm going to add a reflection in the water by pushing a little bit more and then a little pull across like that. I'm just going to use my filbert brush. This is a mini, it's a number one, and I'm going to take some orange with a little bit of blue, but mostly orange just so that it kind of you can see like the sun hitting it, it gives it more of a warm glow to it. And I'm going to go over the tops of them. So I've got my number two round brush here again, and I'm going to make a light ultramarine blue. A little bit of water on here. Loosen that paint up. And I'm going to start along the side here. I'm just going to do little, little lines little squiggles and wiggles now this one is going to kind of come out and around so i'm just going to make a bunch of different rings like this It's going to be a little bit, a little bit darker here, so I'm just going to overlap this watery blue color over top of that. And I'm going to take white with a little bit of phthalo blue. A line about an inch and a half, maybe one, one to one and a half inches. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go on an angle like this. We've got all the feathers there, right? And then down and curve and around. I'm going to take some white. Just soften this and come and scoop down here with a white. Scoop and pull over. We're going to curve. So I like using the round brush for this. That wing is, it's got this curve to it, right? And then all these other little feathers that go down the edge. As that's drying there, I'm gonna go into my orange, a little bit of water just to loosen it up. It's starting to dry here. Like a dark color with my either or both blues and a little bit of orange. And I'm gonna go right under. And we're gonna add our dark shadow underneath. Wiggle, wiggle. And it's going to go off slightly on an angle here. The reflection like that because of this wing is on an angle. Clean that up a little bit. There's going to be a few little sections in here of dark shadows. Just some rounded, kind of really flat ovals. Round right there. So go around in here. Make it slightly thicker. We'll make the head a little bit wider like this. Get those colors there again. So I'll take a little bit of orange. Oh, maybe a little bit of yellow in there too. And we're just going to softly come inside here. And quickly, I want to make sure that I've got my beak area nice and dark. So it goes kind of in a, a V like this or like a diamond shape. And then it just comes out slightly here. And with a clean brush, I'm going to take my ultramarine blue, some white, a little bit more blue just to start where we've got quite a shadow coming down here in this wing. So I'm going to see how I'm coming down here. Scoop, 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 lots of little scoops. We're just going to build up here. A little bit more white again, so it's going to be brighter right here. Make it look kind of fluffy on the top by adding these little scoops. I'll go this way. Mm, 
then I'm gonna add, even though it's not really in the picture, I wanna tie the blue in with this a little bit because it looks like it just needs to have a little bit of the blue accent. Okay, so we're going to come in and do the reflection in the water. We're going to scoop, a little scoop like that. Just take your dark colors. I'm just taking my yellow, pink, whatever I've got here, both blues. A little loop like that. Two, and go right up to that one. And then, okay, I'm gonna make sort of a pinky purple color right now. And add this to our swan. I wanna add a little bit more, gonna play up on my, my pretty pastel colors. And we've got that down here, so then I could add a little bit more too. As I'm doing this, I'll just go ahead and add whatever I add in the water and vice versa, I'll add in the, the swan, just so that everything's kind of coming together. I'm gonna add a little bit of, a little bit more turquoise. Play up on a little bit of turquoise here, I think this would be really pretty. add a hint to that and then I'm going to come in here and wiggle around do that a little bit later really exaggerate these ripples here in the water I'm going to go over to my larger filbert now and take a little bit of orange A little bit more of that orange there. So the sun will be right about here, so we've got to add a little bit more color on either side. Just going to enhance the color down here a little bit by adding that. Look at how pretty that is. Just a little. Do that peachy orange color. A little hint here and there. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all soon in another video. Bye!